Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we are back in my favorite little creek to a little bit of afternoon trout fishing. And as a lot of you guys know, those days are getting shorter and the weather's beginning to cool off and trout season is soon to be here for all of us all across the country. So I wanted to go on ahead and rewind back to the basics and do a little bit of bait reviews for you guys. A lot of you guys that have been following the channel for a long time know that I love to use all kinds of different products and I've been doing it for years and explaining and showing you guys exactly how I like to use them here on the creek. So let's go on ahead and break out today's products and that is the Joe's Flies. We've got that Super Striker here in my left hand and that Short Striker on the right. And as you can see, they're simple little tied up spinners. This is the Black Nat color, one of my absolute favorites. They've got some awesome stinger hooks, some beautiful blades on here. Both are brass, and Joe's Flies is an iconic lure that's been used in trout fishing for years. So let's not waste any time. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the smaller short striker here. We'll go ahead and open up our package. Start from the top, slide that thing down. It should pop right on out. Then all you've gotta do is take that staple there, pop that loose, and out comes your short striker. In today's video, I'm gonna be throwing around that Okuma Stratus 6. This is my go-to for throwing around lures spinners and crankbaits i absolutely love this thing i'm going to go on ahead and tie on here as a lot of you guys know i've been using joe's flies for many years and i'm sure a lot of you guys have one or two of these hiding out in your tackle box somewhere we're just going to pop a simple improved clinch knot on here six wraps through the loop flip it around back to the loop you created cinch that down tight we'll cut off our tag in here drop that into our pocket now when I'm throwing that short striker, I like to add a small little split shot weight. And I'll show you guys a cool little trick to help you use that split shot weight to your fullest advantage. Let's go ahead and hop in our tackle box here and grab one out. We're gonna attach that right to our line here. And I'm gonna start off about four inches from that short striker there. Simply pinch that down. Now a lot of you guys know that adding that little split shot on there really does help to get that spinner down but it also can be used as a bit of an adjustment. The closer you slide that split shot weight to the spinner, the deeper it will fall. The further away, the less it will fall. It'll also add you a little bit extra weight for casting, and I definitely recommend it while throwing that short striker. So let's not waste any time. Let's hop into today's video. Our goal was six fish as always on our lucky little Joe's fly here. So let's hop in the creek. And let's just see what we can make happen. All right, send out cast number one. I really like to let those Joe's flies fall a little bit and I point that rod tip down and slowly begin the retrieve. You really want to work these things low and slow. Make sure it's getting down there close to the bottom. Those heavier super strikers will really help you get down there deep. But if you're looking for a small finesse presentation, the short striker is by far my favorite. And again, you just let that thing fall. Don't let it hit the bottom as oftentimes you will get snagged up with that added treble hook there and you just slowly reel it back. Hopefully we can complete our six fish challenge today. I like to get three on each size, but we'll experiment around and see what we've got to do to make these fish feed. Oh, there was our first bite of the day right there. And as luck would have it, it spit that hook. That's really why they add that stinger hook onto these lures. Because oftentimes trout will come in and they'll bite for that blade. And what'll happen is they'll bite it and you won't get any penetration with that hook. So they add that little stinger hook on there. It really does help you get those fish hooked. And something else that really does help with the Joe's flies is it's got that added fly on the end. So it gives the fish something to kind of target but still, oftentimes, they hit that blade as that really is what attracts them, and you'll miss them. A lot of people ask me if I prefer a swivel while fishing inline spinners, and the answer for me is always no. Now, a lot of you guys think, well, it'll help reduce line twist, and it'll make your castability a little bit easier, but what I find ends up happening is these spinners really don't roll around enough to need that release in the line using that swivel, what oftentimes happens is that swivel really is nothing more than a breaking point. It bangs off the rocks as you reel it in, weakening your knot, 
and then when you go to fight that fish more often than not you lose that fish right there at the swivel so i choose not to use it but it's something that works perfectly fine for those that like it and there's really nothing wrong with it if you do but for me personally the answer is always no as you can see right here everyone tons of boot tracks and doe bait all over the ground so odds are we're going to have to work for them that black nat is my absolute favorite color it gets it done day in and day out so we'll just have to cross our fingers see if we can't get a couple to bite we've had two bites so far and i feel confident if we keep casting just like that we can get ourselves one on there we go short striker strikes again on a beautiful rainbow trout there we go oh looks like he's kicked it in the net just like we like to see there odds are those trebles are buried up good into that rubber so we're going to go on ahead and let this little puppy slide on out of here happy and healthy we've seen one rise over there it looks like a whopper there we go fish number one of the day on our short striker by joe's fly an iconic little lure gets it done everyone heck yeah big old fish came out of there and tried it again wow just cannot get him to commit on it there's one oh quick release on that little guy that looked like a little rock bass but they love those things nonetheless heck yeah There we go. Another fish on everyone. Third fish hooked. Second fish into the net. Oh, kick that hook into the net again. Just like we like to see. Rainbow trout number two for the afternoon. Wow. Beautiful little guy. Came over and took that short striker for us. No problem. But there we go, guys. Just casting it out there. Slowly retrieving it back. Allowing those fish to find it and chase it. Giving them time to go on ahead and bite it. And that's all it takes. There we go. Another fish on everyone. This one's a pretty good one. Super dark in colors. Wow. Wow beautiful fish see if we can get this little beauty into the net there we go everyone beautiful fish wow kick that spinner in the net again that is perfectly fine with me beautiful rainbow trout there super dark in colors wow he absolutely slammed that old short striker for us now another tip I can share with you guys, as a lot of you know, that Joe's Fly is an excellent little fish catcher all by itself. And you can cast and wind this thing in most rivers and creeks and even ponds and lakes and catch fish really well. But what a lot of people don't realize is this thing is a perfect search bait. And what I mean by that is you can fan cast all around the pool and you can find where those fish are located by them bumping into the spinner or chasing it into the bank. And then you can come back behind it with a lure like our NRV Baits Creek Bug, an excellent little stonefly replica. And this is something you can cast out there, bounce this along the bottom, and those fish will absolutely destroy it. But the key to that spinner is using it to find those fish and then coming back by and catching them with that Creek Bug. And that is by far the best tip I can share with you guys. But let's not waste any time. Let's hop back in here, cast her on that spinner, see if we can get ourselves a couple more. There we go. Another fish on right there, everyone. Changed up angles. Decided to cast into the current. 
And another fish on. Another beautiful rainbow trout. Pretty good sized. Here we go, everyone. That simple little Joe's fly is just doing what it does best. Calling those old hungry trout out and getting them to feed. There we go, everyone. We're going ahead and let that little sugar booger slide on out of here. Happy and healthy. There it goes. We'll pick that old spinner out of the bottom of our net. We'll bomb it back in there and try for another. The bite has slowed down and that sun is beginning to set. So we're running out of time quite quickly here, but I've got one more spot in mind. If this one doesn't produce very many more for us, but I feel confident that we can complete our six fish challenge throwing this little short striker. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why I haven't popped on that super striker yet. And the truth of the matter is it's a little bit louder underwater with that bigger blade. It creates a little bit more disturbance. And I think that this smaller blade with this smaller fly is what we really need to be throwing. So we're going to keep at it. But that super striker is a perfect little lure for fishing around big fish or in faster currents. But for right now, we're going to stick with our small little short striker. We're going to see if we can complete today's challenge. But so far, the fish have been all over that Joe's fly, as expected. And we've had an absolute blast so far, casting and retrieving, and getting those beautiful fish to come up and feed for us. fish on right there there we go looks like a beautiful little brown trout everyone no surprise there those brownies absolutely love the joe's flies anything bright and flashy coming by really does turn those old brown trout on and see where he's got that old hook at let's say he's got the stinger hook Calm down, little buddy. You really do want to use some pliers of some sort while using the Joe's fly, as those little stinger hooks will get you. I believe that is a little wild brown trout right there, everyone. No surprise that he bit the Joe's fly. Let's let him slide on out of there, happy and healthy, everyone. There we go. Beautiful little wild brownie on our little short striker here. Heck yeah. All right, everyone. Very last cast for this little section. We have had an absolute pile of bites, managed to get several fish in the net, including a beautiful little wild brownie, which is icing on the cake for this run. But I want to head down to the very last spot of today. It's a little bit further downstream and it's a big open pool. It's got a little bit of current flowing into it, but those fish really stack up in there. And the fish is a whole lot like a pond or a lake as you can really bomb it out there and let that lure fall and just slowly reel it back so let's go ahead and head up there now wind out today's video hopefully complete that challenge and we'll just see what happens all right everyone arriving at our last stop of the day just like the last covered in boot prints down there but that didn't stop those fish from biting those joe's flies in the last run hopefully it won't in this one we're going to end out our day in this hole here cross our fingers and hopes to catch a few it's definitely a good sign when you catch one on the very first cast there we go beautiful little rainbow everyone this fish here should complete our six fish challenge we're going to go ahead and get him popped off looks like he's got it pretty deep well unfortunately what often happens while throwing those joe's flies is they will eat it pretty deep that little guy although i thought i could get him off I ended up pulling one of his gills out from the back of his throat there. And unfortunately, he wasn't going to make it, so we popped him on a stringer here to our left. We will be taking him home to eat. I do not encourage at any time you go out and go fishing and injure a fish mortally like that fish was and not keep it. It's best to go ahead and take it home, clean it up. There we go. And turn it into dinner. That's a good fish right there, everyone. Oh, quick release on that guy doesn't happen very often with those short striker hooks but wow another fish out of this run we will take it all right everyone tons of fun throwing around that short striker but i think it's time to go on ahead and hop in our package here and grab out that super striker want to make a few casts with it 
see if we can't catch a couple on it odds are if there's any bigger fish in this run they will be interested in this larger lure it puts off a lot more vibration it's got a lot more flash and as you can see there it's got a much bigger fly on the end it really does attract those larger trophy sized fish so if you're in a fishery it has potential to have a fish of a lifetime i highly recommend you pop a couple of these in your pack before you go as they can be absolutely light out let's go on ahead and snip our line here and we'll drop that into our pocket and we'll go on ahead and bomb out a couple casts with the super striker one really good advantage about this thing is you can absolutely chunk that thing as you've seen we covered the entire hole with it you really don't have to let it sink as much you can just speed up your retrieve or slow it down if need be to allow that lure to go up and down in the water column you don't want to reel this one too slow as you will hit the bottom and get it snagged just like that short striker if you hit the bottom odds are you've lost your lure but we're going to fan cast it around for a minute see if there's any bigger fish in here and if not well then we'll probably just call it a day well everyone this will be the very last cast of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i've had a ton of fun out here throwing around the joe's flies an absolutely iconic little lure that gets it done day in and day out and hopefully some of you guys learned something by watching today's video and again we will be doing these tutorial style videos all the way up until trout season using all kinds of baits from all kinds of manufacturers but i would like to mention that if you would like a chance to win a set of the joe's flies using today's video and that black knight super striker and short striker all you've got to do is head down there into the comments and drop a comment any comment will be your entry for a chance to win make sure you are subscribed as you have to be subscribed to win anything here on nrv outdoors but get out there if you can everyone and do yourself some fishing and have some fun but most importantly be safe and tight lines well guys as i like to do at the end of each video is to try to catch a bonus fish and in today's video i'm going to be throwing around those nrv bait creek bugs i'm going to start off with the yellow color but if you like to get your hands on some of my creek bugs and help support the channel all you've got to do is head down there into the description click that link labeled by nrv baits here it'll take you straight to my website if you want to use code youtube 10 in all caps it'll save you 10 percent off any order 25 dollars or more but let's go ahead and make a couple casts in here see if we can get ourselves a bonus fish before we head out of here and beat the darkness There we go, fish on. There we go. Little bonus fish for you guys on those NRV bait creek bugs. What have we got here? A beautiful little rainbow trout. There we go. Gotta love that everyone. Beautiful fish, too. Got that creek bug right where you want to see it. This fish is angry. You can grab that really quickly, pop that out. There we go, everyone. Beautiful little bonus fish. Just going to have let him slide right on out of the net. Flip over, buddy. Take off out of here. And see you go. There he goes back in there happy and healthy everyone heck yeah there we go there we go looks like a little brookie that will complete our trout trifecta although not all of them came on the joe's flies we figured we'd go on ahead and end out today throwing around that old creek bug and there's our very first brookie of the day got that creek bug right where you want to see it there we go. Beautiful little fish right there. We'll let him slide on out of the net. Back in there to join his buddies. Happy and healthy.